Oh, what's up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome to another pottery video. Today we're talking about recycling clay, something that if you're a potter, you've probably dealt with. I'm gonna talk about what I've done in the past, which I do not recommend at all because it's a terrible, terrible thing that I'm going through right now. I'm gonna talk about if you're lucky enough to have access to a pug mill, how nice that is, but how this is the best tool that you don't need because you don't need it. You only need it if you're really gonna like have a large amount of clay, which I have a large amount of clay. Story time. Well, someone just texted me. Tommy, Tom Argerbright. Shout out Tom. Tom watches my videos. For the past five years, I have not had a pug mill down here, and I've been really, really terrible about recycling my clay. So, I've been filling up these giant, like, 50-gallon garbage bins. That's my hair. Ooh, that's not in a bun at all. It's kind of weird looking. Let's redo that a little bit. So, I've just been filling these buckets full of clay, because, like, I want to recycle the clay. I don't want to throw it away. You can reuse it, you know? But it kind of got out of hand. So, this is probably about five or six years worth of clay scraps. So I filled one bucket up and then I didn't have any way to recycle it. So then I just bought another bucket. So don't do this, don't do it. Because now I have my pug mill set up pretty much every day for the last two weeks. I've probably recycled about 25 pounds of clay and I've hardly made a dent. Don't do what I do, do what I say. You, you got some clay scraps, you wanna recycle it, how do you do it? So you gotta let the clay dry, right? So it has to be bone dry. So I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. First thing, this clay in here is totally, totally bone dry, right? And so this actually has a hole in the container so I can't make the clay right in here. But I would take that clay out of here and I'd put it in a bucket like one of these buckets or this bucket and fill it up with water. Then the next day or a couple days later, if it's totally bone dry, then it gets really wet quickly. Then I would take it and I would put it onto a board. So the really wet slip. Reach in here, grab that super wet slip, right? And then move it over to a board like this. And so then this is gonna be super, super wet, right? So give it a couple days. I like to put holes in it so it can dry a little more evenly. And so then after a few days, then it starts to dry up and become the consistency that you want it to be when you work with it. So that at that point you can wedge it. So this, this stuff's a little bit more ready to go. It still needs maybe like I bet tomorrow when I come in, that'll be perfect. So then I'll put that in the pug mill but you could also just wedge it too. So you can just throw it on your wedding table, wedge it a bunch, and then reuse it. That's basically it. So I'll show you how to use my pug mill and why it's super, super nice if you have like 3,000 pounds of clay that you need to recycle, which is kind of ridiculous. But I gotta do it. Chances are you don't have a pug mill. Like it took me years to find one. I finally found a lady that was selling all of her pottery stuff on Craigslist and she had this and so I bought it. So basically the pug mill is just a giant low torque motor that has these like blades in it kind of. And so they are really dangerous. So be super, super careful. I would not recommend you doing this. I'm just showing you this for informational purposes. I turn it on and it just starts spinning, right? And then we'll, when we throw that clay in there, that's at the right consistency. So we're gonna take the clay, throw it in there, and then we don't ever wanna get our fingers near there. Like, don't even put them like right there. So we throw that in there, we close this thing, and then perfectly pugged clay starts to come out here. see my boxers there you go piece of clay ready to go right out of the pug mill so that's about the easiest 
wedging you can do right there. Oh. So, like I said, I've been doing this for camera fail. So like I said, I've been doing this for like a couple weeks now and I have probably 200 pounds of clay. I probably got another couple thousand to go. It's always best to, like if we're gonna pug the clay, you can use it right away if you want, but I like to let it sit. Like I'll use, like the stuff I pugged like a couple weeks ago, I'll use that first and then let the stuff that I'm pugging today sit for a few weeks or a few months even, because the more that you can let it sit, then just the more consistent that the clay will be. And consistency is what it's all about. Consistency, 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 consistency. There's so many parts of the clay process that depend on consistency. I think that's it. Hey, this is how I'm recycling clay right now. Let me know how do you recycle clay? What do you do with your clay scraps? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, hit that bell button to be notified whenever I post. See this production quality right now? Look at that light. Look at that light. I have lights. Lights camera. We'll see you in the next video. It's so magical. Isn't it so magical? We turn this into so magical. Sometimes I feel like I'm at Hogwarts.